what's happening, musical sharpshooters? Trumpeter Bobby Spellman here to welcome you to another fun and practical episode of... Trumpet with Bob! All right, today I wanted to talk about a simple exercise that I often use to work on my accuracy on the trumpet, in particular in the upper register of the instrument. As you probably know, as you get into the upper register of the trumpet, the partials become closer and closer together, and for that reason, it can be sometimes difficult to really nail a note right off the bat. Sometimes you'll find that you'll go for a note, and you end up on a different note using the same fingering. So uh, there are certain ways that you can practice trying to really hit those notes out of the blue, and as trumpet players, we're often expected to be able to lead a whole section or an entire band, really hitting those high notes right where they need to be, when they need to be there. So this is a very simple little exercise, but I've found it extremely useful in developing that skill of being able to find exactly the right position you need to be in in order to hit those notes out of the blue. So the first thing you want to do is try to find the note that you're playing. It could be towards the upper register, it could be something in a piece of music that you need to hit. Uh, by and large, I try to pick notes that are going to be within my range, but are going to be a little bit in the uh, upper register where it's going to be a little bit less comfortable to hit it right out of the bat. I know I'm going to be able to hit a middle G or a middle C, but once you get above the staff, you know, these are the kind of notes that you might want to practice being really accurate with playing. So the first thing I'll do is get the trumpet out, get ready. I'm going to put the trumpet, the mouthpiece on my lips. As soon as the mouthpiece hits my lips, I'm going to try to aim for that note. All right, so today I'm going to start off, we'll do a couple of them just so you get a feel for it, but I'm going to start off with an A. There's my A. That's the A that I'm going to go for. So in this particular instance, I may be trying to hit that A out of the blue, and I want to make sure that that doesn't end up a G or a B or some other note that uses, a, you know, potentially has a, the similar fingering. So the first thing I do, put the horn on my face. As soon as the mouthpiece hits my face, bam, I'm going to hit that A. I'm going to try to hit that A. Now, I might not get it every time. But the goal is to continue to practice it. Take the horn off your face, put the horn back on your face. As soon as the horn hits your face, bam, try to get that A. And as you go, you will gain increasing accuracy at really finding the position of the inside of your mouth that needs to be there and also the way that you're using your air support in order to hit that note right where it needs to be every time. So we're gonna give it a try uh, and we'll see how it goes. There you go. Now I'm getting it, but it could be that you get it, let's say, 75% of the time, or 80% of the time, or 20% of the time. And then the goal is just to continue to try to hit that note. Now, if you're getting it 0% of the time, there might be some other technique things that you got to work on. But <clears throat> as you continue to work on it, your accuracy will improve. So I'm going to move up the scale a little bit and try to find that place where I'm a little bit less accurate and try to really work on that. So we'll go to a B flat. All right, let's try it on a B. You can take as much time as you need to in between the hits, but the goal is always to, as soon as that trumpet gets on your face, you don't want to spend too much time trying to resituate, think about it. You want to try to really find that position exactly where that note's going to speak and is where it's going to come out exactly where you want it and try to work with that. All right? All right I'm going to keep going. I'm going to find that place where it's uncomfortable for me and we're going to try it out. See, there's a good example. So I'm trying for the D, I end up on a C. So now I gotta find a reposition to where that needs to go. Here we go. All right, so I missed one of them, but once I missed that one, then I think to myself, all right, that's not quite where I wanna be. It's not the right air support. It's not the right position of the inside of my mouth and my embouchure. Bam! And then you keep trying it out. And as you go, you will find that your accuracy in hitting those notes will improve. And when it comes time to perform and you got that note coming up in the page, you'll be able to hit that thing out of no place and all will rejoice. All right, gang, I hope that is a helpful way for you to practice your precision. I've found that uh, it's been a very useful exercise for me and my students to really get a handle on hitting those notes out of no place and really making sure that you're where you need to be when you need to be there. All right, gang. Thanks for checking out this episode. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Keep up with what we're doing here. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Happy practicing. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope it helps in your pursuit of the majesty of musical self-expression. If you like what we're doing here, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Big thanks to all the new subscribers. We really appreciate your support, and we're going to keep putting out some new videos for you. 
The Ridgewood School of Music is now accepting new students for lessons online as well as in person in the Brooklyn, Queens, and greater New York City area. You can find us on our website at www.ridgewoodschoolofmusic.com and you can send us a message and we would love to help you achieve all of your musical dreams. For some more musical fun, you can also follow me, Bobby Spellman, on Instagram, at Bob Spellman, or in any of the other social media platforms listed in the description below. Thanks again for checking out this video. Happy practicing, and we'll catch you next time.